Hi, this is Wendell Odom, and I'm here to announce a new DevNet learning track about how to improve your home lab to be ready for network programmability learning. So I've talked to the DevNet folks, and they said, hey, Wendell, how about writing some labs for us that address this issue? You've got your lab you've always used to learn for your own purposes or to get ready for a certification test, and now you want to learn network programmability. Now, while DevNet has a lot of great tools you can use for free, where they give you the devices and you can log on to those remotely and they give you the lab exercises, at some point you may want to do that in your home lab. So what should you put in your home lab to be ready for that? So that's the basic question that this new learning track series addresses. So out of the gate here in 2017, we plan two different modules. One of them is focused on APIC EM and the other is focused on things on your desktop as well as the network device to support NetComp Yang as well as Ansible. So in that first module, which we'll be releasing the first two labs uh, along with this blog post that the video is part of, uh, those will be focused on things like what can you do at DevNet to learn APIC EM so you may not even need it at home. If you do choose to use it at home, what software and licenses do you need? What kind of network devices and operating system levels do you need? What kind of server hardware do you need? In fact, the server hardware piece may be the biggest barrier. And then once you decide you're going to put APIC EM in your home lab, what are the um, gotchas? What are the things that could get in the way and make you spend extra time not learning what you want to learn, but just getting through the details of getting it going? So we'll have a lab that addresses those things as well. So I'm excited about it. I've enjoyed working on the lab so far. We'll be rolling these out through mid-year toward the end of 2017. And catch me on Twitter, at Wendell Odom, if you want to ask questions or here in the blog post.